I am in Vic Star's house, his current office, come through. You know, yeah, yes. I'm you should here. be very embarrassed this to isn't yourself. Vic. This isn't Vic, this doesn't belong to me. I've been bullied for this setup by Laserbeam, by Lachlan. I'm a does the job kind of guy, all right? This does the job. We've got bigger and better plans in the future. I am here to help you improve on what you've got right now. You tell me what you have, uh -huh. what you need from your upgraded setup, yes. and I'll make it happen. I have an awful camcorder that I've been using for like the last eight years. That very much does the job, but probably do with something a little, a little more crispy. I did used to have three monitors on a stand, which we're going to replicate in the new office. Yeah. It's much better than sticking them on the desk. This was supposed to be a few months, and it's taken me a year to get the construction work in the office space done. So I've been here for the last year. This probably shouldn't be on the table. Other, everything else I like nice and simple, like just USB my stuff in. The more simple stuff is, the less it can break. I strongly disagree about you not having an audio mixer but I think maybe once you start dabbling in more streams, maybe. you might discover that you might need one. So Perhaps. we'll see, maybe I can convince you to have one. And tell me about your PC. Have you got a new PC sent to I you? have got a new PC. It's got crazy specs, I don't know, yeah. off, off my heart. It's got the 4090. Oh, stop, 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 don't tell me what. I'm gonna unbox it okay. and I'm gonna geek out over it, truly. Mm -hmm. So I was one of the first people to be in your house when you like True. showed it off. And I've seen your room in yeah, its previous state. Yeah, you have seen state. it in person though, it's I mad. I haven't it, seen it, it, it in its actually, new state. Like, the construction has been mad. Okay. Like, it will blow your mind. Take me upstairs, let's have a look at your all new right, room. Let's do it. Walking up all these floors in your house has made me really thirsty. I'm lucky I've got my air up bottle with me today. What's an air up, Con? Well, Vic Star. Yeah. It's a bottle that gives you flavour to pure water using just air. And all you do is fill it up with water, attach a flavoured pod, pull up to activate, and sip. That's it. The magic is in the air. Here's the science -y bit. By sucking the water through the straw, a slipstream is created. And this transports water and air through the scented pod into your mouth. And that's where your retronasal smell kicks in. The technical term for smelling through the back of your nose. So essentially, smelling through your mouth. <sighs> You see, when you smell something in your mouth, it passes through the back of your throat to the olfactory center in your nose and manifests in the brain as a taste. With Air Up, you get the enjoyment of flavor without having to absorb anything unnatural, keeping your body free of chemicals, additives, or sweeteners while still experiencing taste. Also, if you're looking to cut down on your caffeine addiction, they do coffee flavored pods. Or if you're looking to replace sugary squash, then they do a range of fruity flavors. You can get colored accessories, bottles, and switch up the flavor pods to match your mood, outfit, or vibe. So for more information about Air Up, or if you'd like to grab yourself a bottle as well, check out the link in my description. Here we go. Oh my, what have I seen? Come through, come through. <laughs> okay, we got the Pioneer, we got the CDJ 3000, and we got the DJM 900 NX S2. And I'll be mixing up, mixing up that heat. And are you looking at any point to stream any of this or? Maybe, maybe not. Probably not actually, no. I prefer to work in, in privacy. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then once you get skilled enough, you go out and smash it out in clubs. On the main stage. Uni freshers. Yes, sir. Wow. Who knows? And then the rest of the room, wow. Can we have a disclaimer that Vic worked on his room like a whole year ago? Yeah. So he's not copying JJ. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah thank JJ's you. JJ's got this. True, 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 yeah. Yeah, a year ago, I pretty much I had this fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the backdrop. This isn't finished yet. This is getting finished on Friday, so there's going to be neon strips in here and here. It needs to be finished down this side. We're also going to have neon down the top of this hole outside. Wow. Bit here, so it's going to splash up the walls so and these down are the walls. textured panels. They are. Do they help with sound? I guess they do as well. They probably do. I mean, there's not really the intention. No, this but... makes a plain wall look, like a plain yeah. boring wall look really interesting. I really love these panels. And I take it your desk is going right here in front it of us? It is indeed. There's also just a big hole in the wall, but there's yes. going to be a, a, you made a, me a hole. Plate. There's going to be a brush plate over it. Yes. Don't worry. So I requested that Vic has a hole in the wall so we can route all his cables yeah through this hole. And your aircon unit's now being concealed. Look, it's it not is. just sticking it's out. Tucked away. And it's also white, so it, you can't see that it doesn't fit the room. Right, so we're gonna start off by assembling Vic's desk. Everything that's been used in today's video will be linked in the description. Personally, I'm not a fan of this. This is gonna get changed. We're gonna stick some of these panels on instead. They'll look a lot more nicer. Here's a little tip I've learned over time whilst doing these setups. So you want to leave enough space on the edges to be able to clamp accessories uh, on the side of the desk as well. Because so many times what I've done, I've installed the frames this close and that doesn't allow you to then clamp any accessories. So it's a smart move to create some extra space to be able to clamp your accessories to the sides of your desk as well. So now I've measured out that there's equal distance here, here, here and over here. That means our frame is exactly 
exactly in the middle of our desk. And now we can screw it to our desk worktop. The worst bit is dealing with Allen keys. The best thing about my electronic screwdriver is that it's got the Allen key attachment. I feel like I'm in F1, you know, when they change their tires. Go, go, go. They do it 30,000 times faster. It's just not, it's not aligning. What's going on? Why have my accent changed? Uh, submission number 515. As much as I do love the content which Con makes on his channel and his funny yet sometimes cringe job, I would love a new setup. Blocked. All right. Damn, there is a lot of entries to look through. When am I going to even do this? When am I going to do this, you mean? Because there's so many entries, I'm going to close off this whole thing by end of December. So get entering and again, if you are somebody who already is a creator or uses a setup to create content, stream or anything like that, link your Twitch profiles, link your YouTube channels because I feel like this setup should go to somebody who's trying to create stuff and needs that extra boost to be able to take it to the next level. Desk is all assembled now, it's ready to be flipped over. Let's go. Don't tell anybody this, but cable trays are actually a cheat code into staying organized. So these things, once you attach these things, all of your wires and cables and sockets can be stored here. And the reason I love these specific cable trays is that because they come already made, so all you've got to do is pop them up like this, unscrew the clamp bit, clamp it to your desk, and you're good to go. This is a 12 gang extension lead, so you can plug in up to 12 uh, plugs here. It's also surge protected. And this extension lead will then go under his desk. Bam. So yeah, it's a pretty cool space that Vic has because he hasn't just got a room, he's got like this little storage room inside his room and we've managed to drill through a hole and then that power lead will go through here. So all of his wires will be nice and hidden. Next up, we have the microphone arm. Now this is the same one that Ethan and Harry have. This is the low profile uh, microphone arm from Elgato. Boom, boom, shake the room. Uh, my calm, done. We're gonna be done really quick with this out today, aren't we? That's the thing, Vic doesn't even want much. He just wants a simple microphone, one camera, a couple of screens, speakers, and that's pretty much it. There's like, like five things to do. All these other accessories that you see me using in other people's setups, they're to streamline work and to make you know, editors' lives easier. And it streamlines the processes for recording. So the whole idea of when I'm doing people's setups is I'm trying to give them what they want and not like the most techie to the point where they're not able to use the setups or it's not so enjoyable for them. So yeah, although Vic can tech himself out in so much, I think he just wants to keep things simple. And there's nothing wrong with that. Next up, desk speakers. These are Audio Engine A2s and I love using these speakers. They come in their own little pouches expensive shoes and trainers come in pouches like this. They're cute, they're very cute, and they produce a very nice crisp sound. These simply plug in via a USB port, and then you need some speaker wire to connect them both together. And then once his computer is here, we can connect these to the computer via a USB cable. And then the third cable, which is the last one, is the power supply unit. So plug this into the power socket. We should make it look a bit more pretty. What do we do to cables, Carl? Sleeve them up. Okay, so that's nice and braided now. And that is his speakers set up. Vic has opted in for the key light airs. I don't know if I should just leave them on their stands or if we should clamp them how we usually do. I reckon clamp them because we want to save desk space. Let me just set up his camera stand. This is a Sony A7R Mark II. This is a 16 to 35 mil lens. Let's go mount it. This is a ball head and it's from a company called Small Rig. And basically you attach a base plate to your camera and then this to this and then you've got a nice ball head here on top. And these are the Elgato Keylight Airs. I just like their profile, like they don't take up too much space. Because he wants to be so minimalistic, I got him the Stream Deck Mini. Diddy, I love it, I love it so much. With this, he'll be able to program macro commands such as um, switching on these lights, opening up his streaming software, uh, recording, and he wants three monitors, but for now, we only have one. This is the Sony M9. Let's check this thing out. Oh, it looks nice. 27 inch, I like it. Let's figure out this stand. Oh. NVIDIA G-Sync. Nice, all right, let's take it, let's put it into Vic's setup. Listen, if you've got a PlayStation 5, this will look sick with it. Oh, I like, you like? Like. Key lights are on, we've got our monitor in, and I was correct to assume that this monitor will have a PC USB 
uh, sort of hub situation going on. Bosh. That will now enable four USB ports to work. USB A's, and we've got USB C over here as well. You see all the cables that are running to his computer? I'm putting them all to one side so I can sleeve them up as well. I personally prefer all my monitors to be on a monitor arm, but for now, whilst we're waiting for all his other monitors to arrive, we'll stick with this setup. What I love most about this desk is you can use this control panel here to program the different heights that it goes to. Unironically, we're on one, two, three. <laughs> Get it? Because fixed on one, two, three. So we can program this to be the standing height. And then the sitting height, we could go all the way down, press M and then press the sitting button. And now we've programmed two different modes. So when Vic wants to stand up, he just presses one button and it'll go all the way to the top and it'll stop to where our lights go. Damn, that's smooth. This one could go a bit high, I reckon. Also, another disadvantage I'm discovering about having the monitor on the actual stand instead of a monitor arm is that you see cables running down the back of it. Now, with a monitor arm, you can actually thread the cables through the stand and make it look a lot more neater. So trust me, when I get a chance to hook up a monitor arm to this desk, that is not gonna be visible anymore. Day two at Vicstar's house. I'm here to finish off his build. And look at this, a new background. We finally got the old crappy one replaced with this. Hexagon tiles with like a brushed metal surface. It looks very nice and sleek on here. The hard graft is done and I'm here to sprinkle a few nice touches to his setup. See this cable? I'm not really a big fan of it. It's all kinked and it's just, yeah, it doesn't look nice. Get yourself a braided sleeve and then put your cable through it. Now look at this cable. This is for one of the key lights actually. And I'm gonna pop it in here. And look at this, it's just so much nicer. Got these small desktop speaker stands and they go underneath the speaker. Trust me, these actually do make a really big change. When you can aim your audio directly to your ears, it's always much better. Now, the reason I seem to be in a rush is because I am. Vic has a, a DJ session at Ministry of Sound tonight. So I wanna surprise him with his setup, leave him on high spirits and you know, let him shred. What are you doing as a DJ? Do you shred the crowd? Shred the crowd. No, what do you do? <laughs> Rock the crowd? I <laughs> just, I don't know. What do you do as a DJ? Okay, Rock okay. their bloody socks off. I got him a really fun gadget, a charger for his phone, but it's not like ones you've seen before in other setups. Now this circuit board sticks under your surface. Okay, and this is the second half of this device. Now the trick is you've got to align it to where you've stuck the bottom bit. And I think it's around here somewhere. So now, stick that down, and every time he wants to charge his phone, places it on here. Fuck yeah, daddy. It works. And you know what? It eliminates having anything on your desk and eliminates you having to drill anything through your desk. I've also noticed that on Vic's previous setup, he has like pens and pencils laying around. It's just like odd bits that, you know, stationary stuff. So I thought I'd give him some sort of storage compartment. And all you have to do is peel off the self-adhesive pad and just stick it under your desk. It's actually a two-pack, so we can do a second one for him as well. And I go through like quite a lot of memory cards and I have this system where ones that I've copied go in my left and ones I need to copy are on my right hand side. So for me, it's a cool way of staying organized. There you go. One, two. I wish they did them in black or a darker color because they'll suit the theme a bit more, but it's not really a big deal. Like, I like this. I'll show you the wire that is going to get connected to the keyboard. Now, I didn't just go with a plain old USB-C wire. I went for a coiled cable that is very aesthetically pleasing. And this right here is just another simple method of making cables uh, look cool. <laughs> seeing as Vic has many peripherals on his desk, such as his keyboard, his mouse, and his stream deck, I decided to get him a data hub. Now, the benefit of a data hub is the data hub will sit on his desk and all these little devices can connect into the hub. And then from the hub, you only get one wire that goes into your computer. So instead of having all these devices going into his computer, especially with a desk that's gonna be standing up and down, you need a lot of cable slack. So we're gonna to have to just make sure there's enough cable slack for one device instead of like five other devices. And that's where the data hub comes in handy. And this one is from Anchor. I love using this one. It looks like this. It has three power ports if you need to power any devices, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven data hub points. Now, this does need power, so it also comes with a power brick and it goes into a, a socket. It also comes with a data cable, and then this will sit under his desk, and then all these little devices will plug into this. Now, they do provide a data cable inside his box. However, for what we're trying to do, this isn't long enough, so I'll buy a separate one of Amazon, and this is 2.7 meters 
So that will guarantee us being able to have enough slack when the table goes up and all the way down as well. Another device I've just recently got. Ah, oh, this is slick, nice, very solid build. This is a foldable headphone hanger. So now when Vic wants to put his headphones away and he wants to keep his desk clean, he can hang them under his desk. Let's pick a good spot for him. I reckon he might wanna, what are we saying? Somewhere here? You know what, that's the beauty of this thing. We can put one here for now, and then later on he can decide to move it. I want one of these for myself. That is so satisfying, and the whole thing is built from metal. It does not feel cheap and flimsy at all. I found this one cable. It's a micro HDMI. This comes as an L-shaped, as a 90 degree cable, and now there's not too much strain where a cable's like coming out this way. I've got in one little device that I think will change up this whole background. It's a starlight projector. For Vic, from glasses. Fwasha. That's right, a custom built keyboard for Vicstar, uh, created by glasses, check him out, link in the description. He builds keyboards and makes cool videos about building keyboards. Thanks glasses. I think it really suits the theme of his room, like the dark blue. I'm gonna call this the Midnight Blue Edition. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this monitor off the desk. We're gonna eventually take it off of its beautiful stand. I'm gonna clamp it to the triple arm monitor clamp. Now, I personally hate using fancy clamps. This isn't a fancy clamp, this is an Amazon Basics. But it does the job really, really well. The big moment of the video. I think out of all the sidemen right now, Vic will have the best PC out of everybody. Let's unbox this thing. I can definitely get this out on my own. You can tell this thing has a 4090 in here. Sideman Crest logo, nice. And what I love about these fractal cases is that these side panels come with like this material on here and it sort of helps dampen the sound if you've got noisy components such as fans or whatnot. Wow. Sorry, I'm just admiring this uh, graphics card. It's the first time I've seen it in real life. Damn, that is a big boy. Look at this fancy little cooler he's got. He's got a screen on his cooler. And I know a lot of you will be very upset if I was just to leave this beautiful machine on a carpet, sucking up all the dust through the fans, which is why I have prepared something. So I simply got an MDF board cut to size-ish, and I covered it in this black vinyl wrap. There you go, this is some adhesive wrap. Peel it off, stick it onto your bit of MDF, and get a nice board and then the PC will just rest on it like this. Boom, and there you go. That should help some of you sleep at night and also silence the critics. <laughs> so I've just finished connecting all of the cables from his PC to the desk. So there's five cables running up one cable sleeve. Nice and neat. This background's so beautiful. Look at it. Oh. Right, the, the big important decision of what death mat to give to Vic. I've got two options. I've got a black leather one, or we've got this felt material. This is this sort of gray, felty one. Now I'm swaying towards this one. So I'm gonna put this one down, and when Vic comes up to react to this setup, he can have a choice whether he wants this one or this one. But for now, let's try something new. I haven't tried this with anyone's setup yet. And it's looking nice. Look at that, one cable powering everything on Vic's desk. And this cable, uh, some of it is going to the PC and some of it is going to that hole which leads to the room next door. And after a long two days of building, there is one satisfying thing I've got left. This is your finished room. Jeez, put down the logo for me. Oh. Put down the logo for the boy. <laughs> I thought it was going to go a lot smoother. That's so funny. I, I don't know where you want this. I've never seen a star-shaped rug in my life. But this is so incredible. Funny. Who done this for you? Sweet rugs. Isn't what, he rugs? like the Gordon Ramsay of He's rugs? That guy, you know, I want to let this... Ooh. Jeez. Come on in. <laughs> where do you want this in your room? Like, as you come in, in, in the middle there? I don't know. It's so beautiful, I love it. That's elite. That's very elite. I just like walking on it. Okay, um, wow, it's lit. It's dumb lit in here. It's, What's um, this? This is a starlight projector. So, you know, to extend your starlight ceiling on the wall, I thought for your background, it might light up your background a bit better. The grand piece de la resistance, if that's what they say. Ooh. This is your desk, Vic. Yes, sir. Very, very 
very nice. Clean, simple, efficient. Now you might think it's simple, but I have some hidden gadgets here for you. Okay. I know you didn't want a phone charger because you were like, oh, I don't want, you know, I don't want too much stuff on my desk. Uh -huh. I gave you a phone charger. Jeez, that's what? How is it through the desk? Through the desk. Whoa! I, I hope you don't mind a hole in your desk. Oh, that's okay. It's warm. I'm joking. There's no hole in your desk. What? Yeah. How? It's a, it goes through the desk. So if you don't want this, if you want to get rid of it, you can just unstick it and your desk is perfectly fine. What, so you drilled all the way into the No, desk. there's no, no drilling. drilling. It's just sticking. But how does it power? There's, there's a, a thing, thing at the bottom, bottom. Oh, it's and it goes it through wood. Through. Yeah, Mad. it conducts through the wood. Mad thing. And then look. Also, please explain to the viewers why we only got one monitor. Um, because I'm waiting for the other two to arrive, but they will, they will shortly be in place. Perfect. I've, I've kept repeating this every five minutes of my video, <laughs> just so people understand this, that I've not just left you with one monitor. Yes, yes, yes. I've got your custom keyboard. Ooh. This keyboard is made by the one and only Glasses. Oh, he's, he's elite. He's got big street cred. Oh, it's very elite. If you like it, you don't like it, you I prefer... Like flat keys. I'm a weirdo who likes black keys. Oh, I messed up. I told, I messed you, this. Up. I told you this. I told you this. Yeah, I did tell you this. I, I did, did tell you this. You know, it. Damn it. Did you forget? Yeah, I forgot. Um, what else? We got you the swinging microphone arm. Yes. Now I was about to take your microphone from downstairs. Yeah. And route that through. But now it's a nice, neat setup. So whenever, Beautiful. whenever you yeah, need it's your audio. out of the way. Desktop speakers. There you go. Nice stealthy ones. They're from Audio Engine. And key lights. You finally got some good lighting on you as well. Yeah and Apparently. we've dug up one of your old cameras, which is still very, very sick to this day. So instead of having an old granddad camera, you've got a nice crispy camera. Beautiful. So this is how your background would look Ooh. like. It's a bit sad. <laughs> That's really cool. That's I really like the, the starlight projector actually. Yeah, we'll see, we'll I see. thought it was going to be too dark, but the blue That's actually beautiful. does a really good job. Uh, look at that. Nice. I think if we center the camera proper into the corner as well, it'll be a really yeah. satisfying shot. Right. Yeah. yeah. This is sort of what we use for Sidemen videos, but it's kind of a couple of generations behind. That's okay. I'm not that beautiful. You can catch me on that <laughs> Your one. PC is actually one of the best PCs out of all the Sidemen right now. Did it's you know that? Brand new. It's, it's fresh, brand new. fresh kit. I'm going to be running up the games. I'm very jealous of it, and I'm pretty sure other people are as well. Look, um, guess the height it goes up to. I heard it. it's, uh, it's the one, two, three. Jeez. And the, and the You're probably wondering, are the key lights going to hit your seat? Do they just, wow, if, if that ain't meant to be. Also, got your headphone holder right here on the side. So when you're done gaming, instead of cluttering your desk, you can put your headphones onto that bit. And I noticed you like to have like remotes, pens and pencils around. <laughs> I've got some storage for you. Oh, that is sick. Show us what, I I always show us what them remotes do. So this is uh, for the colors. Yeah. So we can... Oh, I like blue though. Blue is very blue's nice. Blue is very fit and it fits with your keyboard as well. And can we just appreciate the cable management? Oh, mate, mate, I've never seen so few cables in any place I've ever been in there my is, life. There is literally one cable if you look very hard, and that one cable is connecting everything on your desk. It goes into your PC, it goes to your storage room, which is where we power everything from. Everything. So. Well done on sorting that because a lot of people have plug sockets like everywhere. It's very hard to hide cables, so you've done a really good job at customizing your room. Appreciate that. Yes. Looking very good, very, 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 very nice. So, can we see some more gaming videos? Yes, I would be rude not to. I just need a game that I can dominate. Watch this space. I'm excited. So, Thanks, Vic. And yeah. This is why he's the goal. This is why there's, no, there's improvements I want to do, but th that's just me, in right? Time. In, time. in time. We had to meet a certain deadline yeah. for you to be able to start using this. A yeah. couple of things I want to improve. Uh -huh. Once all your monitors are in, yeah. I want to put some light bars at the back of them because this reflective material at the back yeah. with a hexagon panel is very beautiful. If you have a look. It's mad look how at every the... single piece looks slightly different because I guess it's the grain. The grain yeah, is different. Yeah, the grain of it is so changes nice. changes everything. So, so imagine, imagine having panel. like an orange glow. Oof. And then it just changes Oof. colors. It will look so nice. So I want to do that uh -huh. and yeah, and then set up your monitors and I think we're good to go. And then maybe mess around with your background a bit more if it's too dark on camera. But yeah. Beautiful. Thank Pick you. Up. You smashed and it. Enjoy. I'm a happy camper.